Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you, um, you know, using a lot of your intuition to sort your problems out as well. You're going by your instincts, really. Uh, and you're seeing things in a very different light. So you are following your gut instincts uh, when you're working, uh, doing your work. You are dealing with a lot of deception. Uh, people, uh, maybe uh, false friends or false, um, you know, giving you false advice. So just be careful. Be careful of that. There's a lot of deception going on. Don't really trust anybody. Uh, keep your sensitive information to yourself as well. There is somebody around you, however, that's giving you quite constructive advice and helping you get through this difficult situation or whatever you're going on uh, on the work front. Now, um, in the past, it seems like you've had some news that come in. It's been quite a surprise, uh, maybe even a good surprise, uh, but something that has come in. You may have been also dealing with a fair or gray-haired person. So maybe they sent you some kind of important information that has brought a lot of in, you know, things to light. Now, you're starting to see things with a lot more clarity. There's a decision that is pending for you. So there's a choice that you will have to make maybe about projects because you've got these two rods over here or these two sticks showing about, you know, a choice or maybe even a new uh, new jobs coming up for you, uh, some kind of new option coming in for you and you're trying to make a decision or trying to move forward. Just be careful about, you know, people being greedy about you or, uh, you know, make sure you're uh, looking at that situation very carefully because you could be dealing with a lot of people that want too much um, and, you know, um, they're not prepared to give you anything in return. So make sure you're looking at that situation very carefully because you could be dealing with, uh, you know, that kind of energy, energy of greed where they expect too much out of you and they're not willing to compensate you for your efforts. So those are the energies for those two weeks. Um, so I'm going to just draw some cards from the zombie tarot. I have shuffled this deck. Um, let's see what's going on. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Nine of Wands, and uh, this is about, you know, um, you know, dealing with a lot of problems and a lot of problematic people as well. The Nine of Wands is, you know, having to hang in there, just, um, you've had, you've gone through a lot of problems, and maybe this is just the last battle that you have to get through uh, in order for you to achieve your goal. This is also about, you know, maybe taking on a lot more responsibilities than you really need to take on. So uh, maybe a lot of difficult people that you're dealing with and they're causing a lot of hassle and a lot of problems. But you need to stand your ground and just hang in there and have the patience uh, because it looks like things will sort themselves out. Um, but you're very tired uh, and you, you know, you're very stressed out as well with this Nine of Wands. And you're feeling very defensive because you've had to go through a lot of problems. You've got the four of swords over here and the six of uh, hazards. So with that nine of wands, it's, you know, it's, it's the wounded warrior card. It's a card about, you know, having a lot of, uh, being very tired after going through a lot of problems, a lot of mental problems, uh, a lot of competition. Then you've got that four of swords over here, which is talking about, uh, you know, feeling extremely tired, maybe even feeling ill. Um, and you need to take a step back uh, and refocus so you can see this person's got uh, you know um, the telescope part of his gun focused on these people here so you need to actually come up with a new plan a new strategy and refocus you might need to take a little bit of a break a little bit of a holiday from your work so maybe um, you know take some time out really uh, um, you know if you have some leave um, that is due to you, it might be worth taking it uh, because you have been working really, really hard. You've got the six of hazards over here, working extremely hard, slaving because, you know, they made an offer. There's something that you're working towards, some kind of goal that's being dangled in front of you. Uh, maybe you may, there's an offer. They, you know, you, it's been said that, you know, you work, you have to work um, this hard for you to get this particular goal so maybe you've been uh, working towards this carrot or this ham in this particular state um, the card and working extremely hard uh, and it's made you very stressed out very tired uh, and you need to maybe take a little bit of a break uh, in order for you to um, to refocus or uh, reprioritize what you want to do so you have been working extremely hard to achieve your goals uh, and that has 
you know, stressed you out, tired you out. You've been dealing with all these problems and you've been doing that because there's this promise uh, that you will get maybe a promotion or you'll get more money, something coming that was promised to you, uh, something that's being, something that you want really badly, some kind of position that you want really badly uh, and, you know, it's been used uh, almost to get you to work harder. Um, and now you are really tired out you know, very tired, uh, very stressed out. So you do need to take a little bit of a uh, holiday, a little bit of a break, take a step back, look at it from a different angle and refocus, uh, reprioritize, come up with a new strategy, really. So you had the lover's card in the past. So this is about making decisions. So there was some kind of decision that you made, a very important decision that was made in the past that has affected how things are, are going. So maybe the choices that you made are having an effect on you at the moment. You're dealing with a lot of difficult people. There's a lot of power struggle going on over here and there's a lot of conflict that you're dealing with as well uh, a lot of greedy people so people expecting you to do a lot uh, and not really compensating you for what you are doing as well and it seems like you might be having some kind of conflict with somebody in particular there's some kind of power struggle going on over there and it's not a very very nice uh, kind of relationship uh, there might be a lot of harsh words going on over there or a lot of nastiness going on over there a lot of betrayal a lot of well it's it's not a very nice energy that that this person and you are, are sharing it's just a, a lot of conflict going on now you've got a choice over here you this is what's in your mind with the two of hazards so you're really working under deadlines you've got a lot of clocks over here and you're multitasking and you're working very very hard you've pretty much changed to your work as well you're also not getting paid very well so you're still having to juggle finances and this is on your mind it's worrying you quite a bit and uh, you know you're working pretty hard there might be even uh, a case where you're applying for a new job and maybe you're um, you're considering taking on an, a different job or maybe even considering doing two particular projects at the same time to generate money as well so you're pretty busy and pretty stressed out as well with that two of hazards now you want to move forward with this night of hazards that's going to the future but there seems to be some kind of obstacle preventing you and this is causing a lot of depression a lot of stress it seems like you know every which way you turn your path is being blocked by somebody or something uh, and you're working very very hard with the night of hazards or the night of pentacles is a very hard working night uh, and it seems like there's blocks somebody is standing in your way over there so they are dangling, uh, you know, opportunities for you to work towards, but somebody's preventing you or something is preventing you from moving forward uh, and, you know, advancing as far as your career goes. You yourself are a very hands-on person, so you have a lot of authority. You're a person of authority, but you're very, very hands-on. You're not sitting in that chair and waiting for things to get done. You you put all your effort and energy into it, and you know exactly what you want. Uh, this is your card, and you're coming across as a person who's very dynamic, uh, but it looks like, uh, you know, all of that... Uh, Although you're so good at what you do, it seems like people are still preventing you or blocking you from moving forward. <coughs> now, uh, you've got the three of um, hazards of your, the three of pentacles. So you're putting a lot of effort and energy into this and you're organizing. You're very, very systematic about what you do and are very organized and you're very, very much in charge uh, of what you're doing. And you're working very, very hard as well with that three of hazards. Uh, you know, a lot of collaboration going on. So you're putting a lot of your, yourself into that work. So you want things to change. This is your hopes and fears, but you still feel like you're being victimized. People are not giving you what you want, uh, and they're not, uh, you know, they're just, you know, you can see there's knives being thrown at this woman. Uh, so they're focusing on you, but they're not giving you what you want. And, uh, you know, maybe they're criticizing you quite a bit as well in your work. So going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Hierophant, um, the Ace of Hazards, and the Ace of Wands. So the Hierophant says that you need to do some research. Go and get some good advice, do some research. Um, you may even need to do a course or something to get you out of this particular situation. Uh, you need to get some financial advice as well with the Hierophant. But this is about learning something or actually looking at that situation and going and do some research and getting some information brought to light in order for you to use that information on a practical level to move forward. And once you do that, maybe even do that course or something that gives you the edge over everybody else there are two new offers coming in for you so you've got the ace of hazards where you start off a new job and the ace of ones new, new projects so there's some kind of information that needs to come to light you need to go and do some research about it um, and this is going to open the doors 
for these, this offer to come in. So that Ace of Hazards being the Ace of Pentacles, something bringing that new money and it's a new job opportunity that comes in for you. So you're going to have to be proactive. Uh, maybe not rely so much on, on following uh, whatever they're dangling in front of you. You need to be proactive. You take some time out and go and get yourself a new strategy or a new plan. Speak to people. Uh, maybe even do a, new, uh, do a course. And once you do that, you will have the edge that will give you bringing those opportunities, those opportunities will come to you and bring in the wealth or bring in the money that you're looking for. Um, so I'm going to draw some cards from the Fairy Tarot. It seems like, you know, um, if you keep uh, following whatever people are, uh, you know, controlling you, whatever opportunities, they're always going to be standing in your way and preventing you from going forward. And so you do need, uh, you know, to get the edge over these people uh, and get the edge over the situation. Now, the high priestess is talking about trusting your intuitions, careful reflection before taking action, and insights that come to meditation. Now, you can see there's a book that's opened in her hand. She's got the keys... Uh, to the book of knowledge so it looks like you might have to go and do some kind of course some kind something extra uh, to give you the edge um, uh, to be able to overcome the situation so if there's some kind of short course some kind of um, you know maybe a little bit of retraining or uh, just um, something that gets you uh, you know in a better position to make application form uh, applications to new jobs that is what you need to do because you need a little bit of an edge uh, and a lot of secrets are being kept from you as well and it's no use to you sitting and waiting for things to happen it looks like you need to be a little bit proactive and try and get an edge over everybody else make sure you're also doing some research now you've got that hierophant as well as the high priestess card over here here. So there's the Hierophant there and the High Priestess card. So there's some information that needs to come to light uh, or you need to learn really uh, in order for you to move forward. You've got the Five of Winter, which says, walk away from dishonest uh, associations, realizing that what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for you and something that is not worth the effort. So if you're having any conflict with people, it, you know, it's time for you to move on or walk away from them. And also, you know, it seems like maybe if the situation is not working for you, then go and do something uh, that puts you on a different path that allows you to move forward as well. So if the situation is turning into something negative and you are not advancing in it, it's time for you to move forward or move away from it. Then the unity card is also the hierophant card, which says this, do the right things for the right reasons, compare traditional versus new approaches to see what works for you. So this is also going you know, becoming a, a student again or even go, becoming a teacher. So you've got the Hierophant appearing twice. This is about dealing with information or learning new information or getting new information. So doing some research or even going and doing that course uh, that gets you, uh, you know, um, gives you the edge over everybody else. Since the Hierophant is appearing twice, it might mean that you do need to go and do a little bit of retraining, uh, updating your skills, and that's going to open the doors uh, for new opportunities to come your way. Even with the High Priestess card, it's talking about learning. So it looks like you need to update and you need to go and, you know, do a course or some kind of, something refresher. Go for some seminars, uh, but get yourself, um, get the edge of everybody else in order for you to open the door for these, you know, for new money with that Ace of um, Hazards and for a new job opportunity with that uh, Ace of Wands. Um, and uh, that will uh, allow you to move forward or you're going to be, uh, perpetually stuck in this particular role and you're not going to make any kind of progress so you do need to update or you need to get some kind of training uh, further training really um, so I hope that this has uh, been helpful to you and please don't forget to like share subscribe and leave me some comments if it has and thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye